One of the greatest roles in my life is being a mom. And of course, the greatest title ever is mom. Gabriel is two going on 22. <laughs> he is the joy of our life. He is just a kind, gentle, incredible little person. And I love seeing him grow up and of course, becoming the person that God has destined him to be. I've seen firsthand the effects that the business has had on our life in the fact that both my husband Phil and I are able to be full-time, hands-on mom and dad to our son Gabriel. For my parents, the fact that my mom was able to retire my dad and now they're traveling and they're enjoying the best part of their life now as their grandparents. And for my youngest sister today, that now she's able to be at home with her son Easton and be full-time hands-on mom to him and really work the business around his nap time. So I'm a teacher by trade and I loved teaching because I love to see people learn and grow. And I remember when I interviewed for my first job, just the excitement surrounding it. And I truly was at that time living my passion. Now, unfortunately, when Michigan's economy took a turn for the worst, so did my job stability. I was facing the loss of my job. I was desperate. I thought, I don't really have a plan B. So I literally started praying for an opportunity. And my search led me to my current company. Uh, they started as a retail brand and decided to leave retail and bring it to the masses through direct sales. And little did I know, that was my answer to prayer. To be honest, I was young. I didn't have a network. I didn't really know what I was saying yes or no to. But it was my mom, who is a successful, savvy entrepreneur, who said, Sarah, opportunities like this come once in a lifetime. She said, don't overthink it. We're doing this. And so she was the first one to jump on board with me. So we were the first independent consultants in this company. Even though my husband had a really good job, he was a CFO of a large cardiology practice, we had three daughters. Two were in college, in fact, one had just moved out, and we had a lot of debt. And so when I joined this company, it allowed me to give my husband really what I would consider his life back. He was able to retire just two years into the business. And today, uh, together, we are able to fund all of the things that are near and dear to our hearts, as well as you know the time freedom to enjoy one another in our family. We have three grandkids that we are just crazy about. It's the fun that we get to have. You know, just spending the day together and hanging out, that's what really speaks to me. This business allows us to illustrate and to showcase what legacy and leadership looks like. Gabriel gets to see his mom be a leader, but he also gets to see his mom and dad leave legacy. went to India for the very first time, and there we saw, they don't call them orphans, they call them angels, who were given brand new homes. And to them, it provides such an opportunity because having a physical address, a roof over their head, allows them the ability to go to school, to get clean water, also to receive education and nutrition. So when we went, we couldn't just go and then our, turn our backs to the things that we saw. We decided that we would build a home and we built one home for 47 boys. While we were there, one of the people who worked with Angel House said, I wanna challenge you guys. I wanna challenge you to build a home for 100 children. So we decided to build Angel House's very first home for 100 children. And for us, true legacy, bringing it full circle will be the day that we get to bring Gabriel on the journey to meet all of his brothers and sisters there. It's not just in the way that we're able to give to kids in need, it's the legacy that I really want to create for my family, that they can see their grandparents being generous. So Mark and I sponsor well over 100 kids. What I love about my husband having this time freedom now, he's able to respond and write to each one of them personally. Some of these kids are dying because of lack of health care. I mean, some of them are dying just because they don't have a simple antibiotic. And we 
do many things, you know, from providing their basic needs to housing, uh, clothing them, and, you know, just in what they need daily. So many people are poor in time and they're looking for opportunity. But of course, again, it's where do we fit this in? And what I love about our business is you can do it part time. You can really do it on your time. You can design a professional life that fits around the rest of your life and really allow yourself to design a life that you love. <laughs> And the beauty is, is now with all of our programs and training, people are running faster than we ever did when we started. In fact, a good example of that is my sister Emily, who started the business less than two short years ago and has built an amazing story for herself, for her family, and for all of the other families that she reaches through the power of our business model. So I had said no for 10 years to this business. My mom and sister kept telling me how great I would do and how I should join them in business, but I just kept saying, no, no, this is your thing and it's just not mine. It wasn't until I found out that I was expecting my first baby that everything kind of shifted for me. I had this life that I knew I had to take care of and to provide more for. You know, this thought came to me of, well, what could I do to give him the very best of life? You know, they grow so fast, and so I get to see every single milestone that he hits every day. And it's fun, you know, calling my husband saying, this is what he did today, and I don't miss a single moment. And because of this business opportunity, it's allowed me to stay home and to see all of his growth and his development. We are able to take people to the place that they've been longing and dreaming to go. And it's so much more than money. It's about a prospering of people's dreams. So that's what I love, the ability to help people so that they can live the life of their dreams. And that's really something that you can't even put a price tag on.